Hey everyone, what's going on today? I have the Desert Eagle L6 by Cybergun, and it is a heck of a pistol. I'm just going to go ahead and unbox it and then do a small review on it. So let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, so first things first here, we have our manual. I mean, it tells you some basics. Uh, nothing there. So, operation, CO2 loading, and hop-up adjustment, which for the Desert Eagle is special. And then it has a notes page. I'm not sure why you would need that. I'll show you all that later. So, there's your manual. Let me go ahead and get the actual pistol. Okay, so you have your Allen key here, nothing special. Bag of BBs, nothing special. And then this is actually the Desert Eagles magazine loader. It's actually very unique and uh, helpful. I'll show you how to use that in a second. But let's look at the actual pistol. So there we go, we have the pistol. Uh, 50 AE of Airsoft, it is a big big gun and just starting on the outside it has polymer lower here all of this is a nice strong polymer it's not weak not cheap nothing like that you have your big fat slide lock here for a huge slide trades here here all that stuff it's magnum research inc licensed um you have your selector in the back here semis at the bottom or safes at the bottom sorry jeez moving it too much there's semi in the middle and then the top is auto and if you want to use co2 you can use auto but i don't recommend it i'll show you a clip of me firing it in audio auto at the end here but uh it uses a lot of co2 in auto otherwise on semi you can get about two and a half mags out of uh one co2 cartridges which is about 21 times two plus a couple rounds so just call it 55 shots per CO2 cartridge there. Uh, here's your magazine. Just Allen key at the bottom. Real straightforward, real simple. Holds 21 rounds. And then to use your loader, what you actually do is put it on the top like this. Put BBs down in this part and then just use this and ramrod them right down. You can use a speed loader to load these, but it's an absolute pain. And I actually recommend this tool, although this thing's easy to lose. So be careful of that. Back to the pistol, up on the top slide, it's all solid metal, including the rail. Your sights, you don't have any white dots, anything fancy, which kind of sucks. It makes it really hard to aim, and have a nice big trigger and hammer here. Obviously, everything about this pistol is overall just enlarged. It's a huge gun. Really comfortable feeling, very, very uh, steady when I hold it, although it's heavy. Um, but other than that, this thing is an absolute tank. Uh, considering you can pick these up for a pretty reasonable price uh, the model that they they come to the u.s at does have your orange barrel and it shoots at 389 fps with a 0.20 uh, and again that's safe semi and full auto so let me go ahead and show you how to uh, take it apart and uh, adjust the hop up you just find this button right here and press it but look at the other side and find this just flick it forward like that pull that right out of there for your hop up it's down in there it's a big rotary reel you can see it there might not be able to see it no there's a big rotary reel uh, wheel in there you need a small allen key to get down in there and turn it um, and then otherwise on your lower obviously you can take that part off if you want I'm not going to you have two recoil spring guides in there just like the real one and put it back together Situate that piece in there and push it together and on that side lock it in So yeah, so that's the pistol there. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a clip of it shooting in full auto I did run out of co2. So pardon me there But uh, everything about this pistol is very solid very nice again shoots 289 with a 0.20 BB and uh, An important thing to note is this thing really cannot hop Anything besides a 0.28 and higher it, the hop-up can't go that low. It, it just, it's not accurate at all. If you want accuracy with this thing, use a .32. It's the best you can do. 
But um, yeah, so I'm hoping to maybe get Ready? Yeah. Holding the slide lock down. That's bad. Out of CO2. 